I got a horse right here. His name is Paul Revere. So I know there was a uh, <clears throat> a uh, Broadway play called Newsies. It was all about uh, newspaper boys. But I don't know any music from that, so I went with Guys and Dolls. But you know what today is? Today is the day you all look forward to when I try to make sense out of the journal. But first, a little international news. I mentioned it somewhere earlier in the week. So I'll just uh, briefly say I am being constantly abused by the whole piano player versus China thing that's going on in England. If you don't know what I mean, Google it, look it up in YouTube, you'll find it. Just, just put up, put in some combination of piano player in China and you'll find it. But basically a guy was playing piano in the one train station on a piano that's put there for the public to play. But he's a YouTuber. He does this kind of stuff all the time. I think he's got like 2 million followers. I've seen him before and he'll sit and play and he'll try to get other people involved in that. But there was these Chinese people there that were filming some kind of thing. And they wanted him to stop because they didn't want to be on his camera. Because, of course, it's a train station, you know, that's like 100,000 square feet. So they couldn't possibly go somewhere else to do their filming. But it just turned into a whole thing. Look it up yourself. But it's it's been like daily. The la last thing I saw was the one uh, Chinese girl involved did a uh, video explaining her side. And she just sort of, I think, dug the hole deeper. But let's go back to this. Oh, well, there are... Uh, I missed one of the ads, but uh, that's worth showing. Good looking stuff. I haven't had Pizza Hut in a while. It's one of those things that uh, it tastes good to me occasionally. It's like, you know I like pizza. But Pizza Hut specifically is something I can't have it too often. I don't know what it is. But if I have it, you know, I haven't had it in a few months or something, then it tastes really good to me. Anyway, let's see uh, what we have here. We got 37 years of service. Dr. Philip Pilgrim reflects on courageous career. Redneck pickleball and lots of Penn State football. Um, oh, you know what we could use? Why didn't somebody point that out to me? Make me look like an idiot. Uh, <clears throat> you know, just trying to look close. I'm not quite sure how a doctor has a courageous career, but I don't know. It There might be something in there that says about it, but I don't know. Was he maybe a uh, army doctor or something for a while? Now here's another. You got you gotta like their headlines. This one is Brap. Uh, Black Machannon Snowmobile Club. Hosted 135 riders. That would be fun. Phillipsburg Borough is seeking candidates to fill two positions. Uh, two vacant positions the borough seeks qualified candidates to fill include a coordinating committee member to someone to represent them on the county planning board or something and emergency management coordinator. Obviously, two volunteer things, which, uh, I mean, I've done volunteer, but uh, they they are, they seem to be surprised that uh, they have trouble finding people willing to work for free. Um, well, we got the 
cemetery committee holds a meeting. It seems like they've been talking about the cemetery every week. Uh, la, 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 la. Well, this is important. They got a picture of Dr. Pilgrim in here cutting his anniversary cake. You know, I know there's some of you out there who probably live in places like uh, New York City, Baltimore, Los Angeles, or even fake cities like Cleveland, and you are just so jealous that we have a paper that covers the big stories. <clears throat> Okay, so here's everybody's favorite, the police report. The main event, and they spelled Maine like the state, so. Police responded to a disturbance in 300 block of Grand Central Road. Okay, township, okay. It was reported that Clayton Maines, so that's why it was the main event. Was to cater exited the neighboring residence and pulled his pants down. Maines then displayed his bare buttocks towards the, vic the victim <laughs> and witnesses while stating, this is my property. We had a mooning. Choking. A known drifting male and known drifting female became involved in verbal altercation. Uh, the argument turned physical when the male choked the female. The male was taken into custody. Corruption of minors. Corruption of minors case involving 17-year-old Morrisdale female that occurred in Morris Township is being investigated. Corruption of minors case involving a 13-year-old boy and 11-year-old girl, both from Hawk Run occurred in Morris Township is being investigated. Uh, corruption <clears throat> of minors case involving a 14-year-old Hawk Run girl that occurred in Morris Township is being investigated. They don't say what the corruption is, but it seems like Morris Township's got a problem. And it's just weird that they have a, three separate things. And, but is it like all stemming from the same incident that's <clears throat> oh, the forester for the tree. You know, obviously a play on can't see the tree for the forest. Or... Emily Brown of Hawk Run. Wow, Hawk Run is really... Uh... She was traveling north in her Subaru Forester. Ah, see, Forester. And attempted to negotiate a left-hand turn. I don't want to read ahead, but I'm going to guess... She failed. She lost control of her vehicle and traveled off the right side of the highway. The vehicle was disabled from the crash and she refused EMS transport. Ranger retained. Timothy Snyder of Hawk Run once again made a right hand turn and uh, While turning, he went too wide and traveled up a small embankment and struck a retaining wall where the 2004 Ranger, uh, he was driving, came to final rest. Okay. Partying too hard. Pardeen is spelled P-A-R-D-E-E-I-N-G. Is there a neighborhood around here called Pardee? Is that what they're doing? A DUI arrest was made on January 5 along Pardee Road in Morris Township once again. Charges are pending blood results. I don't know if those were pretty much immediate. 
police responded to Morristown again to a report of drug possession. Another one for drugs during the course of a traffic stop along Deer, Deer Creek Road. A uh, driver was found to be under the influence. And while the three passengers were found to be in possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia. WRX Taylor Bowman of Houtstow. Let's see, at least we're out of Morris Township. Was traveling east when he attempted to pass another vehicle in the passing zone. However, due to snow covered roadway, oh, Taylor's a girl. She lost control of her Subaru and traveled across the westbound lane off the berm and collided with a snowbank. Nope. I blame the snowbank. It had to see her coming. And continued traveling into a front yard before coming to arrest. Bowman was not injured and was wearing a seatbelt tow truck came and got her. I will tell you I was coming home from uh, Pittsburgh once several years ago and it was on uh, one stretch of 22 where it was a four lane with and uh, luckily there was no uh, guardrail in between the two sides um, but I was in the far right lane and all of a sudden and you, you can tell what I'm doing here because you cannot see my hand all of a sudden, I was over in the far right lane, and my car just decided to do this. It went all the way over to the uh, opposite far right lane. It was a little scary. Luckily, it was a empty road at the time. I haven't been out that way in quite a while. I wonder how the roads changed. Stolen handgun. And received a report of a stolen handgun from a Woodward Township residence. Uh, PO middle school students learned about the dangers of online social networks from two state cops. That's actually, uh, I won't make fun of that because there's a lot of bad stuff kids can get into on the internet and you know hopefully kids take whatever they tell them seriously because you know a lot of times kids you're thinking you know better and oh it won't happen to me and stuff but hopefully they learn something we got our obituaries we got a Agnes Rushnak who was born in 38 and she's from Madeira it looks like a William Thompson born in 1950 he's from Munson anybody know them the Shannon Valley School Board they have a vacant seat Seems like everybody around here is looking to fill holes. After reviewing three letters of interest, the board voted to appoint Elsie Harchak. Uh, the school district recently sent letters to parents of the 60 students who are nearing or have exceeded the 10% threshold. I'm assuming 10% uh, uh, truancy. Uh, yeah, average ab absences for all students in the school district are 3.8 days. We have 10 percent, if I remember correctly. The school year is 180 days, so 10 percent. You figure you take the 180 and you multiply by 10 and you put the move the um. That'd be uh, like 23 days. December's Breakfast with Santa event. 
to 100 adults and students. Well, here's a headline, and it doesn't say sponsored, but Snappy's Grill in Chester Hill to host grand opening on February 9. Now, I have had uh, reports from my roaming, roaming reporters that they're actually open, but they just haven't had the official grand opening yet. And all indications seem to be that they make great steak hoagies. So something for the people around here to know. They may uh, put a hurting on uh, sheets. That's where uh, people go to sheets more for uh, like the, the deli, if you will, rather than, well, gas, of course, but more than just like shopping. It's funny, I can remember when sheets pretty much, you know, well, I'm not going to answer that. I know who it is. They'll leave a message. Um, I remember when Sheets is the only like hot food they had was the hot dogs, and people used to love the Sheets dogs they'd go down for. And then they started making, you know, the uh, do they call them MTO made to order there? You'd go and you'd fill out a little tablet and you check off, you know, what you wanted on your hoagie and stuff. And now, of course, it's all computerized, and it's a good place to go for sandwiches like that and stuff, because you get what you want. Um, and they have quite a good variety, but now Snappy's is going to be across town from them, and they just may lose some money. There's a memory lane. That's a guy with a sulky and I know uh, I know I know my viewers and what you're saying is right now what's he sulking about no no the sulky is that uh, kind of little two-wheeled carriage so, uh oh hear me without my microphone um that was john hale uh, okay it was just it's just a picture of the guy i was looking to see if it said maybe he was like a early taxi or something you know a horse-drawn uber we got our reader of the week Phil Vollmer. He's originally from California. Uh, he's a married father too. His wife works at Penn State. And oh, this is interesting. He uh, he's a burglar. His wife works at Penn State, and she works days, and so at nights he doesn't have to watch the kids, and he goes out and. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's not what it says. Oh, worse. <laughs> he's a mortgage banker. So either way, he's a crook. Uh, what's your impression of Philpsburg? You know, this could be hard to do. I'm, I used to, uh, like when somebody would say something like, What's your impression of Richard Nixon? And I'd go, I'm not a crook. But how do you do an impression of Phelpsburg? I don't know, maybe uh, just sit there looking like you're better than everybody else? I haven't spent enough time to know the ins and outs. So if he's new to the area, why is he the reader of the week? Probably because they're getting money from whatever bank he works at. Is there something you've experienced? Experience in all the different places you've lived. All of the three Midwestern towns were larger. Than... Do you see common mistakes people make a lot when they go to get a mortgage? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so... Uh... Uh.
That seems to be the whole paper. 20 minutes. I'm trying to get this down a little bit, but you know, there is just so much to talk about in this thing. Anyway, folks, uh, hope you're enjoying the weekend. Hey, I noticed earlier I looked out the window and you can actually see a lot of grass from, uh, you know, it was all white the other day, but it warmed up, you know, it was in the 40s and it rained. So now it's basically, I imagine, just sloppy out there. I'm not going to go out and find out. But uh, enjoy the weekend. And uh, huh. I saw someone, they do a sign-off. I really like uh, Have the Day You Deserve. I'm not going to steal that. I just thought I'd mention it this one time. I'll stick with peace out. <laughs>